Hello guys, this is Sam. In this video lesson, we are going to learn how to create an audio player in JS using HTML and CSS. Before diving into the code, let's see what are the requirements for this video lesson. Obviously, we need some songs. I am using downwind songs here. You can use your own audio files. And I am having your icon sits here for the player controllers. And uh, let's create a new directory here. This is the 12th video in the series. If you are new to my channel, Please consider watching my uh, channel for more videos. Let's move these di two directories inside here. Let's create a new HTML document. And I'm saving inside my directory. And my HTML snippet. Title. Let's divide this video lesson into two parts. The first part of the video is going to teach you about designing the appearance of the audio player. And the next one is going to teach you about converting the audio player design into the real audio player. Let's start designing the user interface for the audio player. Let's create a new div here. It is going to act as a uh, audio player container. And I'm going to have a logo image here. I'm using some dummy, uh, dummy image here. You can use your own logo image. Audio player.png. And this is going to have player. And uh, this is my song title. And class song title. My song title will go here. Side by side, I want to see the result in the browser. Let's check it out. Yeah, as you can see, the elements are stacked. That is positioned one after another. But I want to have this element side by side. Let's go back to code and fix these things. In order to do that, we need to add some CSS to this page. Um, style. I want to have a body color, body background, F1, E7, E7. And I want to add some styles to the player container, audio player container, uh, with this 450 pixel, height is 135 pixel, background is F. 3 E B D C and box shadow horizontal shadow I don't want horizontal shadow vertical shadow and uh, this is our blur and this is our uh, spread and this is going to be our color and this is going to be my text color 3BA9 and font family Vedino and font size is 12 pixel. Sorry, not 120, 12 pixel. Let's check it out. Yeah, still the elements are not placed side by side. Let's fix it. Logo float left it will help the logo image to float on the left side and player float right this will help the player to float on the right side of the container let me add some margin here 7 pixel let's check it out yeah Let's add some CSS for the song title. Song title. Before that, let me give a song title like this. Copy and paste it here. And paste it here. Let's check this in the browser. 
as you can see the text is wrapped when the song title is larger than the container surely it will break the user interface so we need to fix this too okay so let me define the width of the song title which should be 300 pixel and padding 5 pixel 0 pixel 5 pixel 0 pixel this will set the uh, top padding and bottom padding okay now to avoid the text wrapping we need to set white space no wrap when the text overflows i want to clip the text so for that text overflow ellipsis so it will render an ellipsis to represent the clipped text and overflow should be hidden when the song title overflows it will be rendered as a three dots uh, i'll show you like this this is a nice feature added in the css3 let's go back to design now we add a song slider to show the current position of the song which is playing. For that we can use input controller which is supported in HTML5. Input id equal to song song slider class song slider type range. Now we need to set min value and uh, as of now we don't know the max value so i leave it and step equal to one the step attribute specify the size of an each moment of the slider control and uh, event listener seek song sorry song whenever the slider changed the seek song method will be called I'm creating one more container here to show the current time and uh, total duration. Div id current time class equal to current time sample value here. Let me copy this and paste it here. Duration. duration let's check this on the browser now you know what to do with this current time and duration element yes we need to set the floating property here let's do it before that I want to set the width for the slider control sorry song slider with 300 pixel now current time should float to left and duration should uh, float to right and i want to decrease the font, uh, font size for both current time and duration font size 10 pixel ten pixel now it's time to add controllers to the player let's add them quickly div class controllers image source images play.png and width for the image is 30 pixel on click it should call the play or pause song method As of now, there is no method. We are going to define this method in JS. And I am copying this line and putting it here. Okay. It should be previous. It should be backward. And it should be forward. And it should be uh, next. So we need to change the method name also. Previous backward and this should be forward 
and this should be next sorry next let's add a volume slider here so same uh, input type equal to range controller input id equal to volume slider class equal to and type is range and minimum value we know minimum value is 0 and uh, maximum value is 1 since the maximum value of the volume is 1 the value of the volume will goes like 0 0.01 0 0.02 and up to 0 0.99 and 1 so we need to set the step attribute step attribute equal to 0 0.01 on change I want to call adjust volume let me add some images here to tell the user that uh, this is the volume slider um, let me copy this and paste it here I'm sorry let me paste it here and this should be volume down image and this should be volume up image I want to decrease the width of these images 15 and 15 and I don't want any event listener for this let's check it out in the browser let's add some styles to fix the glitches as you can see these controllers are actually affected uh, by the float property so in order to fix that I'm setting controllers clear both and I want to increase the size of the play button where is the play button because everything seems to be same so I want to differentiate the uh, differentiate the play button and I want to let's check it out just save and check it out yeah uh, and I want to place the play button uh, vertically center in order to do that here I am going to add a display table and uh, all the elements placed inside the controllers class should be aligned vertically center so vertical align middle and I am going to set some margin for the images which is placed inside and I want to decrease the volume sliders width to 90 pixels and I want to add a margin here margin left 5 pixels okay let's add some margin here also where is that yeah here margin left to pixel and finally I want to show the next song here div ID next song and class is we can use the same class song title and uh, next song and uh, next song title goes here yeah we are done with the user interface let's check this in the browser yeah perfect and uh, instead of having all the CSS styles and HTML in the same page, we can organize this. I'm going to move these CSS styles into new file. Styles.css and uh, save it here. Let me copy all these CSS styles. and paste it here yeah. 
yep i remove the css styles from here and add a link to the file link and uh, references styles.css let's check whether the changes are applied now we are done with the user interface part of the audio player in the next video we will learn how to convert this design into the real audio player see you all in the next video thanks for watching bye bye